things work together for good to them that love the Lord. And today I claim that promise, trusting him for peace of mind. He's the God that through the ages has stood the test. What a friend for sinners, Jesus, lover of my soul. Friends may fail me, foes assail me, he, my Savior, makes me whole. Jesus, what a strength in weakness. Let me hide myself in him. Tempted, tried, and sometimes failing, he my strength, my victory wins. Victory wins.
us what a guide and keeper while the tempest still is high storms about me night or takes me he my pilot hears my cry
reaches to the highest mountain, and it flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. It will never lose its power. It will never lose its power. The blood that cleanses from all sin, it will never, never, never lose its power. I'm so thankful for the blood of Jesus and how it's completely changed my life. I grew up in a Christian home, but unfortunately, I didn't really have a desire to do what was right until closer to the end of my high school, closer to when I was getting ready to graduate. And I'm just so thankful for the transformation that God's brought to my life and the stability that college has brought to my life. Just, he's helped me to totally surrender everything. And I'm so thankful that he got a hold of my heart and I don't regret at all serving him. I love him so much this evening. Desperation without hope walked the shell of a man. Then a hand with a nail print stretched downward, just one touch. Then a new life began. Barren walls echoed harshness and anger. Little feet run in terror to hide. Now those walls ring with love.
I'm so glad that I can testify this evening that the cross made the difference in my life. That song describes a home that was without Jesus, a home that was barren, that was sad, that dad or mom comes home and the children run to hide. But then it describes a home that's been changed because Jesus stepped into it. I'm glad that Jesus stepped into my home one day and that he made such a change that I will never forget. That dad changed. Dad made a complete 180 degree turn from the way he was living. And I remember the change that took place in dad. But I'm glad that, you know, as a result of seeing the way dad lived, that I wanted that too. And I'm glad for the change that Jesus not only made in my home, but that he made in my own heart and my own life. I'm glad that Jesus saves and sanctifies me and for the cross that made the difference. I love him this evening. Jesus, the name of Jesus, since chains are broken, the captive set free. At the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, hell trembles and Satan must flee. Sorrow and fears pass away. And burdens can't stay Oh, the heart that's been broken And wounded by sin There is healing When you call on His name At the name of Jesus The name of Jesus Sin chains are broken The captive set free at the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, hell trembles and Satan must flee. He shall return some glad day, a blessed appearing for those who've obeyed. Every tongue shall confess him to be Lord of lords. They shall bow to the power of his name. At the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, since chains are broken, the captive set free. At the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, hell trembles and Satan must flee. At the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, since chains are broken, since chains are broken, yes, since chains are broken and I am set free I've been set free I'm glad at the name of Jesus my sin chains were broken and I was set free not too awful long ago and I remember before I had asked Jesus to forgive me I thought I was living a life that was free because my parents couldn't tell me what to do and I didn't have to listen necessarily. You know, I didn't have to listen to the, my elders or obey rules. I was free. I wasn't bound by any rule. But you know, in reality, that is the very essence of being bound. Being bound by Satan and his deceitfulness. But I'm so glad that there came a day during revival when I asked Jesus to forgive me. And he broke those chains of sin. And now I'm living a life free through him. And as that second verse was alluding to, we're going to see Jesus some glad day, but it's a blessed appearing for those who've obeyed. And as this next song talks about, it says, oh, what a day will soon take place when the redeemed of Adam's race in an instant will all be transformed. And I'm looking forward to that great day with great anticipation when Jesus splits the eastern sky and we can see the one 
who saved us by his grace. I thank the Lord for saving me and sanctifying me. I'm glad that when he comes, I'll be ready. I'm looking forward to that day. sight 
on that resurrection morn. Resurrection morn. It's going to be worth it, folks. It's really going to be worth it. And I don't know about you, but I've made my decision that no matter what it takes, I'm going to be ready on that morning. And I want to be ready. I don't want to be one of those ones who's scared when they realize that, oh, no, Jesus has come back and I'm not ready. But we don't have to be like that. We can make the decision here and now that we're going to serve Jesus no matter what comes our way, no matter if Satan tries to throw things in our path and maybe tries to get us discouraged. But God has made a way that we are able, we can live victorious, we can make it, and it's going to be worth it. Just one glimpse of his sweet face, it's going to make all the trials and all the hardships that we face down here on earth worth it. And I don't know about you, but I've made my decision. I'm going to serve Jesus. I will serve the Lord no matter what it takes. And I thank him for what he's done for me, saving and sanctifying and just changing my life completely. And I'm looking forward to the day when I can see the one who's done so much for me. And just, I praise him this evening. Christ is only Son and the blessed Holy Spirit, distinct yet three in one. I believe there is forgiveness for everything we've done. That is why all the more I will serve Him. I believe the Son of God was crucified upon a tree and laid within a borrowed tomb not far from Calvary. I believe he rose up from the dead, alive for all to see. That is why all the more I will serve him. I made my decision, I staked my claim. I am drawn a light in the sand, and I'll not be ashamed with the world behind me. I believe you must be born again, John 3, 16 is true. The old life can be washed away and everything made new. I believe the love of God can somehow find its way to you. That is why all the more I will serve Him. I believe there is a right and wrong, a time to live and die. And the Bible is the blueprint that all men should live by. I believe that I am not alone with my faith in Jesus Christ. That is why all the more we will serve Him. We have made our decision, we have staked our claim. We have drawn a line in the sand and will not be ashamed. of God, we will serve the Lord. We have made our decision, we have staked our claim, we have drawn a line in the sand, and we'll not be ashamed, be ashamed, with the world behind us and the cross before, by the grace of God, we will serve the By the grace of God, I will serve the Lord. I will serve the Lord. Amen. Have you made your decision to serve Jesus Christ? Amen. I trust that you have. I trust that you've made that commitment. It's not a commitment that you've just made that you think may last perhaps this week 
or might last a month. But I really, truly hope that you've made the commitment, I am going to serve Jesus the rest of my life. Come what may, I am all his. Amen. It can be settled. Praise his name. Thank you so much, Proclaim, for ministering and music tonight, and uh, I have so appreciated the songs that they've sung, uh, the testimonies that they've shared, and at this time our ushers are preparing to receive an offering tonight, and we want to do our best in this offering uh, to make sure that they get back to Salem, Ohio. Not that we wouldn't want to keep them here. Uh, we would love to have them just stick around for a little while, but... Uh, I'm sure they have school assignments and classes and things that they are very eager to get back to. And, uh, and so we want to do our best to just help them out and give a good, generous offering here tonight. I'm sure uh, that probably some of them actually wish they could stay here this week to avoid uh, the ministry of Pastor and Mrs. Schaefer. Their family's headed out to Salem, Ohio, and they'll be uh, ministering in revival there at the Allegheny Westland Methodist Church that's just off campus and uh, with the Grables. And uh, uh, we want to pray for them and pray for these people that will have to put up with them this week. Uh, but let's do, do our best in this offering here tonight. And uh, if you didn't come prepared to give, you didn't bring money, uh, don't forget you can always give online at beavertownchurch.com. Even now in the service you can give and we'll make sure uh, that the money goes to AWC. And uh, also you can give through our app. If you have that downloaded on your phone, uh, you can give that way and we will make sure all of the money goes directly uh, to AWC. Let's ask God's blessing on this offering tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the encouragement that this service has been to our own heart. Our heart has been challenged and, and encouraged, and we give you praise for that. We're thankful for these young people who have committed to serving you. And Lord, we're thankful for their example and testimony. And we're asking, Lord, a special blessing on them, Lord, as they would endeavor to follow your will for their life. We're asking, Lord, that you would continue to bless AWC, uh, President Hardy, and, and Brother Sanders as, as, Lord, they're doing their best to lead this school. Lord, that you would just uh, bless this offering tonight that we're about to receive, that you would multiply it, and, Lord, that your kingdom would be advanced because of it. In Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen.
Thank you so much for your giving tonight and that offering, and thank you for that offertory special. Uh, we certainly enjoyed that tonight. And uh, we do want to uh, just remind you, uh, those of you that are visiting and are guests here tonight, that you're always welcome at Beaver Town Church, and we trust that you'll make it back uh, here real soon. Keep in mind, at the end of this month, October the 29th, uh, begins our fall revival services right here, and we're looking forward to the ministry of Brother David Spivey, and the McDowell family will be singing and song, and uh, we certainly look forward to that. Let's be much in prayer for this event. Uh, right here at the end of the month, there are announcements back on the welcome desk that you can take with you, uh, hang them on your refrigerator uh, to remind you of the revival, and then take another one to hand out to give to somebody uh, that you uh, know would be blessed by these services. Uh, we certainly would, would love to just have a, a great, great revival, and uh, we'd be blessed if you could attend these services as well. Keep in mind tomorrow evening uh, from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock over in the Bates Center, it's a work night. And uh, this will be the third uh, Monday night in a row that we have uh, met over there. And uh, the participation by the congregation has been outstanding. Uh, Brother Kevin Forney is directing that. And uh, lots of progress has, has been made thus far. And we could use another good team of able-bodied people tomorrow night from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock right over at the Bates Center. Let's stand together, shake hands with each other. You are dismissed.